Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to show you how to use this um, face mask pocket pleater. It's basically two pieces um, and it's designed to pleat your masks. A lot of people are making masks right now and the pleating, the folding down, is actually kind of hard to do or it takes a while. So this device helps you out with that. Today we're going to be making a pocket mask which is actually a mask that lets you put a pot that you can put material in it if you want to. Uh, this is a popular design and we'll uh, post a link on the video to show you uh, where you can get that pattern. But today I'm going to show you how you how to do this. So uh, it's two parts. One part says face down. You just want to place that uh, face down on the table. Uh, then the other part face up. Uh, we're going to sandwich the, uh, the mask in between and basically do that. So uh, these lines up here help guide you. Uh, you just need to figure out what line is closest to what works for your pattern. Just experiment until you get it right. For this mask, I find that that top line works good. I like to keep my fingers on right here just to keep it from moving. So now I'm going to find where this goes. And then we're going to cinch it down. So then you can pick it up. Um, you can see that it starts to form and then you can sort of just finish it out yourself. Uh, what I like to do, and this is optional, is I just slide this over and then I give that a little iron. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Just give it a little iron press. And then you can either sew it in place, you can take this to the sewing machine, or you can just take it out at this point. Uh, you can either pin it or clip it, or just sew it just like this. Uh, after a while, you'll be able just to sew it without having to pin it, because pinning takes the longest time out of anything. Okay, so now we're going to show you uh, the sewing, and then we'll be done. All right, so after you use the 3D printed pleater uh, to pleat your mask, you just come over to your sewing machine. And we're not even using pins or anything, um, but I always do my back stitch first, make it nice and strong. And then just go right down over the pleats. Make sure that as you go, the material isn't stretching and the pleats aren't coming out. So you just kind of have to go slow. And then back stitch again. And you've got this great pleated edge. Do the same on the other side. So just kind of make sure it's lined up and everything is still pleated um, on this side as well. Back stitch. Go right over those, hold them tight. And back stitch. There you go. There's your pleated mask.